Shining. Huh? He's awake. Oh, what a relief! Kirika, Sonia, everyone. We're in my room. I see. You all brought me here, huh? <laughs> Don't sweat it. Not that heavy. Oh my, yes. Especially compared to Rina. What? Oh, Fromage. You know what happens to people who spread rumors, don't you? <sighs> I'm just glad you're okay. Thank you, everyone. Um... What's wrong, Yuma? I didn't... hurt anyone, did I? Rest easy. You regained control before anything happened. Really? I'm so glad. <laughs> there you go, Yuma. Told you we'd be ready with a wake-up call. And see? We kept our word, didn't we? Yeah. I heard all of you reaching out. It's only thanks to you that I calmed down before it was too late. So, we got through to you after all. Of course, Marion. It was a beautiful, clear sound. And Rinna's performance was so soft and gentle. Uh, oh! <laughs> you charmer, you're gonna make me blush. And Kirika's voice made me feel so calm. Oh, truly? Yeah, through your song, I could feel you and everyone else reaching out to me. I could tell how worried you were. It was different from Excella's song. It felt so... gentle. I see. You did hear us. I suppose that means... I have learned to see you for who you are. Yeah. Well, I should let you have some peace. I'll see you tomorrow, Yuma. Kirika. Well, we gotta get some rest too. You take it easy for a while. Okay. Thanks for stopping me, everyone. Good night. <laughs> The power of the Shining Dragon has been unleashed further than ever before. That was a form even I hadn't seen. The awakening of the Seventh Harmonic. The birth of the Seventh Dragoneer. Although but a glimpse, I'm finally starting to see the path to the last song. And all of it revolves around this boy, Yuma. This can't be a coincidence. Perhaps, all this arose from Yuma's power. A power beyond my sight. Beyond my comprehension. Hmm. The only problem now is that Imperial Princess, and how to best use the goals of the Sanguine Church. <sighs> I need to consider my next move.